Welcome to 3D HP everybody. My name is Jerry and today we've got the Arion filament dryer box. Let's open it up and see what we got. Uh, we got foam, seems to be well packed. And then here's the unit itself. Take the tape off the front so we can uh, get inside. Yeah, it's a good looking unit. Let's pull off the tape, holding the lid down. Alrighty. Another piece of protective foam. A little power brick plugged straight into the wall. It like appears to be covered in plastic, I guess for safety, for moisture, if it doesn't get wet. not really sure why they did that. And paperwork. Explains how to use it. Recommended temperature settings. Pretty basic. We got some desiccant, a couple little big, or actually large packs of desiccant. Rollers, pins, PTFE tube. I guess that's it. And we got in the front and the bottom, we got a fan there and a heating element underneath the plate. The fan is to circulate the air. So if you have a filament dryer and it doesn't have a fan and it, it's useless. Because when the plate heats up down below, you need to circulate the air to get all the way around the spool. Let's take everything out and let's put these rollers in. There'll be a steel rod here and it's got two little bearings. Look at the paperwork and confirm how that goes together. But Just to be sure. Pretty self-explanatory, but let's look and make sure. Okay, put a bearing on each side of the rod. You simply slip on. They fall off very easy. And you look, there's a notch down below in the rear and the front. Let's drop the bearings in and the rod at the same time. They kind of snap in place. And if the bearing should fall off the rod, just pick it up and repeat until you get it. And then we're going to do the front one. You put these in so that the film can easily turn on the spool while you're uh, printing something and the spool can rotate. And there they are in place. And it's got two places up top there you can pull out the plugs. Okay, let's put the desk in the bottom. Got some PTFE there to help guide the filament out of the dry box or run to the extruder even though the long piece is too short. So use your own if you wish to run directly to the extruder. Just put in one desk in for now and get it closed up. Very simple. Okay, since I live in a dry climate in Nevada, I've got some uh, film in here, some Pet G, we're going to soak it in water for like 8 to 10 hours and see how much moisture it will collect before we print with it. And then we're going to print wet and then we're going to dry it out and then print dry. Alright, next morning, let's take it out and I'm going to air dry it on that towel for an hour or so to get the extra water run on, to run off of it. And then we'll do a test print and see how it comes out. And now here's some rainbow filament. I'm going to also soak it and see if I can get it to absorb any of the water. Um, if you live in a high, high, uh, humid climate, it would be much easier to absorb in a humid climate than soaking it in water. But here we go, 8 to 10 hours later, let's pull it out. And once again, I'll dry this, air dry this for an hour or so, get all the excess water run out of it. 
and then we're gonna do a couple prints here with it wet then we're gonna dry it and do a couple prints with it dry and here's my uh, anti-cubic uh, Cobra printer nice little printer I love it, it prints great and I Looks like it came out really nice. I'm not seeing any layer separation, not any huge stringing. Now let's try out the rainbow. Do a quick time lapse on the rainbow also here in a second. It's the first layer going down. Alrighty, now looking at the dryer box, let's see, now we need to dry out the filament. So you simply set it inside, plug it in, and uh, we're going to go to the button there on the front and click it twice. And the paperwork explains how long to dry it. And that will run for four or five hours, it will shut off, and then I'll run it a second time. It's got a temperature sensor on the top there. And here we go. We're going to print them with it, dry it out. Let's see you do the same test prints. Now we're starting here with the second roll of filament. Alrighty, and as you can see, it's got a percentage there on the front and a temperature sensor. And you can take those two plugs out there to run your filament out. If you want to feed it directly or down below there, there's also a hole where you can run it out. And the button on the bottom, simply you click it one, two, or three times. And as you click it, you can hear it. And then you click it another time, then it goes completely off. Got Astro Printer talking in the background. He's doing a live stream, so if you might hear, hear him. And there's a, where you put the battery, and it comes with an extra battery if you ever need it. There's a heating element and a fan underneath where it says hot. There's a fan underneath there to circulate all the air. Got a nice look to it. And let's look at these test prints. Now here it is wet. This is PETG and uh, it came out great actually. I think it looks really good. Uh, I figured it had a lot more stringy in it, but it didn't. I guess it's depending on the color. And there's where I dried it out. It looks almost the same. I guess soaking it in water overnight wasn't a good example. But if you live in a really humid climate, like I say, that would be totally different. It, you know, I've had film in the past that sat out for a long time, had a lot of string in, and need to be dried out. I and mean, when you print with something like carbon fiber, uh, you always have to dry it out before you work with it. And once again, I live in a very dry climate here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Oh, and here's some Arion film that they sent me out to test for my, my next video. It's two colors in one on both rolls. They've got this new filament line on each strand. It is two colors on the same. It's not even like a rainbow. It's like two colors on the one piece of filament. So I can't wait to do that in the next video. I have a ton of prints. It's going to be so cool to see how that comes out. But yeah, uh, it came out really good. I'm real happy with it. Let's check out their website. Okay, here's your link over on Amazon.com here in the U.S. And here's your filament dryer. Tells all about it and all the specs. There's a couple different sites that are currently selling this on Amazon. And as you can see here, it's got the dimensions of the unit. Then it goes on and talks about the different temperature settings. On um, level one, the first button is 40 to 45 C. It runs for four hours. 
and then it automatically shuts off or PLA marble glow-in-the-dark wood etc heating level 2 you click it twice it's 45 to 50 C for 5 hours for PET G ABS and TPU click it three times that's heating level 3 it's 50 to 55 C runs for 5 hours PVA nylon carbon fiber and of course since I soaked overnight I ran it more than once on level 2 and uh, then I started my printing and uh, here if you got wet filament, you live in a very humid climate, you can see on the left there what, how your filament will turn out when you try to print with it. On the right it's been completely dried. So you'll get lots of popping from the extruder stringing. And then it has a fan mounted in the front that we can circulate the heating element and we can completely heat it throughout. As you've seen in the earlier video I done the Sun Lou, which did not have a fan in it. Their first model and it was terrible and I had to go in after the fact and add a fan, move the temperature sensor. Well, this one does have a fan, and it seemed to work great. These are for about a week now. And then you can run the short piece of TPFE straight up to your extruder if you choose to. There's three different holes which you can do it, and it has a temperature sensor on the front there. And I put desiccant in the bottom. It came with two large packs. You can put one in, but I wound up putting two in because my film was pretty wet. And it's a very, very simple unit to use, very easy to use, nothing complicated nothing to learn. The instructions that come with it have recommended temperature settings for the, each button and it'll let you know how long they will run until it automatically shuts off. And you can take, when it's dry, you can take out the filament, put it on your spool holder, or you can just leave it in the dry box, which is, is intended, and I print with it in, right out of the dry box. Whether it's heated or not, it, it's in the dry box, and there's a desk in the bottom to keep your filament dry once you dry it out. Some filaments, like carbon fiber, need to be dried out the minute you buy them straight out of the package. Depending on where the filament is designed at, you may need to dry it before using it. And it's always recommended that on PET-G you dry it before you use it to cut down on the stringing. But you can pick this over up on Amazon, and uh, I'll have a couple of affiliate links down below. And like I said, on my next video, guys, I'm going to be printing with Arion's uh, filament. Uh, the new filament they came out with, that is two colors in one. One half of the filament is one color, one half is another color, and that's going to be a really awesome video to see. So if you would, please like, subscribe, share this video out, and I uh, hope you guys have a really awesome day. Thank you for watching. If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be making all this great content, and I thank each and every one of you very much. And you have an awesome day, and happy printing as always. Bye-bye.